Hello and welcome to the Buddha International Circuit everyone and welcome to the game of performance where I am of course naturally going to assume that you are in search of a performance sports car. So would you fancy something like this? Driven by Iron Man himself, only 4 years old and already one of the most iconic mid-engine supercars of the world. But there's a problem. This yellow car here costs more than 3 crore rupees so you and I can't buy one. But there's another performance sports car that you and I can buy. So bringing on to your screens, ladies and gentlemen, along with our presenting partner Michelin, the Audi RS5 Coupe. Yes. Yeah, the diamonds on my dress that they would cover your tuition. Every shot you know I'm popping if they got that intuition. Yo, believe me, we gon' make a move. Just a demonstration. Yeah. It's the kind of a car that looks fast even when standing still and the aggressive front with the jet black grille or the quattro lettering Nardo grey paint job which is discreet yet eye-catching and two sets of some of the sexiest wheels in the motoring world make the Audi RS5 here a better looking deal than the competing BMW M4 or the Mercedes C63S. At a place like this though, I find compulsively asking myself if the Audi RS5 is a sports car. There is no back seat space like in a sports car, a fully digital fantastically fast futuristic digital cluster like in a sports car, flat bottom steering wheel bangu no lufz in like in sports cars and a seat belt presented to you like in no ordinary car. Frameless door like in a sports car. But is the Audi RS5 really a sports car? If this were a sports car, then this would be a fast car. And I think that it is because it does get 444 horses, 600 Newton meters of torque and all of that thanks to the 2.9 litre V6 twin turbocharged engine. Remember the quattro lettering on the body panels earlier? Well, yes, now that ensures that 70% of the car's power can be transferred to the rear wheels only so that you can have fun like this. Not embarrassing a BMW M4 from a start off, this car will just go on pulling and pulling and go on pulling without a train and will pull on your brain which is when you realize that this car does run out of juice on the top end. One of the fastest circuits in the world, both international circuit and its back straight will offer this car only modest 250 kilometers of top wax. When you enter in too hot, there is a mild flourish of understeer like this one. Ah, but the car is just That's the understeer that we are talking of. The amount of grip levels that the car has to offer, seriously, you'd have to spend at least twice the amount of money to buy a car that offers these grip levels and has four seats in it. And that would be a Nissan GTR or then the Porsche 911 4S. Nothing less than that. When you're braking hard in this car, you brake so well because of the ceramic rotors at the front that you almost feel the back of the seat pushing you ahead and then you feel like you have lost your forehead. You would have to be Chris Harris or Chris Hemsworth to let go of the traction out here and even then it won't happen because I'm running super sticky Michelin Super Sport tires. Ah! <laughs> it's amazing. The Audi RS5, it's not as light as a sports car. But then it doesn't even cost as much as a sports car. Now one does lament the demise of the big burly 4.2 litre V8 engines that came along with the earlier RS5s but this RS5 here dabs away those tears and makes your dry lips crack up in smile 
But even with a smile on my face, I still find myself asking the same question. Is it a sports car? No. Because you see sports car or not, the Audi RS5 is more than that. It is a sports car with dual personality. Exhilarating on the track and cooler than cucumber with your family in the real world. Making me wonder, sports car or not, this might actually be the only Audi that you want. Stay tuned as Game of Performance presented by Michelin returns next week with the Dark Horse.